Welcome to KBHU bi-weekly updates for the week of Monday, September 23rd through October 7th. I'm Jackie Robles. And I'm Adam Birch. Monday, September 23rd brings us the banner competition and department or office decorating competition all day, followed by a Wizards Festival on the campus screen from 5 to 7 p.m., where dinner will be served. Tuesday, the 24th, is the Yellow Jacket Pep Rally in Lyle Hare Stadium at 6.30 p.m. Immediately following the pep rally, the Wizard of Oz will be shown on the big screen of the football field at 8 p.m. Wednesday brings us an accounting fair at 9 a.m. hosted by the School of Business in the Joy Center. Then it's time to vote for your Swarm Day's King and Queen. Voting will take place from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the Student Union and from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Library. A children's carnival will be underneath the Jonas Skywalk from 4 to 6 p.m. And finally, illusionist Trig Watson will be in Meyer Hall at 7 p.m. Thursday holds a Witch's Quest scavenger hunt at 3 p.m. Participants are to meet in the Selk on the top floor of the Student Union. Then coronation in Meyer Hall at 7 p.m. To round out the night, the burning of the BH will take place immediately following coronation in the Meyer Hall Circle. Friday the 27th is a big day for Swarm Week as there are five events throughout the course of the day. Starting with the Alumni Awards Luncheon in the Joy Center at noon. Then a hike to the H sponsored by the Collegiate Outdoor Leadership Program and it will begin at 3 p.m. meeting in the Student Union Atrium. The float preparations begin in the Young Center Field House from 5 to 9 p.m. And the Hall of Fame Banquet starts in the Jacket Legacy Room at 6 p.m. Wrapping up the night, the homecoming dance is at 9 p.m. at Besler's Cadillac Ranch with transportation leaving the library circle every half hour. Saturday brings up the Swarm Days Parade on Main Street. Spearfish is starting at 10 a.m. Then the tailgate for the football game starts at 11 in the Ida Hinton Park. Kickoff for the big game is at 1 p.m. right here at Lyle Hare Stadium. Jumping ahead to October 1st, BHSU Photography Club Shutter Buzz meets every Tuesday at 5 p.m. in the photography classroom in the basement of Jonas. Also at 5 p.m. on Tuesdays, the one and only KBHU TV meets right here in the studio located in the basement of the library. Student Senate meets in the Trump Conference Room at each Wednesday at 4 p.m. BHSU Buzz Arcade meets Wednesdays at 7 in Jonas 110. Wyatt Bills made a video promoting Buzz Arcade and the activities they are involved in. Check it out. The idea behind this club is to basically provide a whole bunch of people with an opportunity to network with people of similar interest. So whether they be board games, video games, literally whatever, that is very important that we keep that culture going and establish friendships for the last like, several years. Rolling up on Thursday, October 3rd, a Geek Speak discussing Noah Webster and the Webster's Dictionary is in Jonas 110 at 4 p.m. The weekend begins on Friday, October 4th, and to start it off, the Lady Yellow Jacket soccer team takes the field against Western Colorado University at 7 p.m. right here at Ronnie Tice Field. At the same time, the volleyball team will be playing at the Colorado School of Mines, and you can watch the live stream at bhsuathletics.com. The next day, BHSU Volleyball plays the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs at 7 p.m. KBHU relies on student-created content and to keep its programming interesting. If you have work you would like published, please send it to us. Here's an example of student work covering an event on campus. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Samantha Ryder and I'm your favorite reporter from KBHU TV Student News. I'm here with Mackenzie. We're going to be talking about the student pool party that we had here recently. So Mackenzie, what's the purpose of the pool party? Um, the purpose of this pool party is to get all the freshmen out so they can meet new people and as well as returning um, members of the campus as well so we can get new relationships, bonding and stuff like that. What other types of events is capped on for students outside of pool night? Um, outside of the pool party, we do put on a lot of other events. We do stuff like casino night, relaxation craft night, we have bowling, um, we do like contracted events, so we'll bring in um, people like a comedian, juggler, stuff like that, just to kind of get people out and going. Sounds cool. Okay. Now, what is CAB for students who really don't know what CAB is? 
So CAB stands for the Campus Activities Board, and our main goal is to put on events and programs for the students to try to get out, get involved, instead of just being stuck in kind of their dorm room all the time. Okay, and how can students join CAB if they're interested in the CAB? Um, if they're interested in CAB, they can come to the SELC and they can talk. Usually we're kind of up in the SELC anytime, and they can do that, and they just apply for an application. We do a little interview, and then they're good to go. Okay. Now I hear the word SELC, and I know some students may not know what that means. Can you explain that to me a little bit? So the SELC is the Student Engagement Le Leadership Center, and that's located in the, top, the second floor of the Student Union. So you go into the Student Union, you go up the stairs, and it's kind of that first big room. What's your favorite event here at BH or during the Green and Gold days? Um, I really like the Rec Center. I've come every single year and it's always been freezing, except for this year. It's actually really nice. Um, I also like the slip and slide. That's fun. The slip and slide? Yeah. What's your favorite event from Green and Gold days so far? Favorite event? This has got to be the favorite one because it's the only one I've been able to come to because of football so far. So this is my favorite one so far. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can see that. Do you yeah. have any plans to splash anybody or dunk anybody? Oh, loads of plans, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there will be no one here left dry, so yeah. <laughs> I don't go to very many, but the pool party is definitely fun because it brings everybody together and it's just like a fun, relaxing thing before school really, really starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd have to say, I don't know, green and gold days, which is like the first two weeks, that's a lot of fun. Um, but even like continuing throughout the year, there's a lot of programs that the RAs put on, so that's a lot of fun. And um, I don't know, there's just so many. Uh, <laughs> For Green Gold Days, uh, I went to the improv comedy show. That was pretty fun. That's your favorite one? Yeah. My favorite event's probably just the theater programs, honestly, like the improv nights and stuff. Okay, why is that? Just always like theater, kind of impartial. Okay. You look forward to the pool night every year? Or? I do. Every year I like it. It's pretty fun. This has been Sam Ryder from KBHU TV Student News. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Keep a lookout for me at other events. Hopefully, I hope to see you guys soon. KBHU Weekly Updates is a student-produced program. If you have any suggestions for program segments, email us at kbhutv at gmail.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching KBHU Weekly Updates. I'm Adam Birch. And I'm Jackie Robles.